Hi, everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you, um, this is a special request by a couple of different people. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have on my base color here is Sally Hansen InstaDry. The color is called Blue Away. And then I'm going to be featuring Bundle Monster plate number 201 using this little rainbow. And if you're one of the people who asked me for it, here we go. So what we're going to do is using a white striper polish. I'm going to just use this Kiss Nail Art Paint. I'm going to go in here, and this is going to be the easiest part for those of you who don't like to try and draw like with nail art paints. This is great practice because all you're drawing is blobs. <laughs> so we're just going to draw a couple of blobs to make little clouds. And it's up to you how big do you want them to be or how puffy or long or wide. I'm just going to do a couple of little clouds like this. And I might even make one kind of off the end here too. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on my other nails here and then I'll come right back. Okay, so here it is and this white polish is still dry. Here's some clouds in my thumb. While I'm letting that dry, we're going to go ahead and do the rainbow. So what I'm going to do is using Bundle Monster Plate number 201 and of course using the rainbow, I'm going to stamp this using Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Whirlwind White. There we go. And then I'm going to place that directly on my nail, and I might go at a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to stamp and roll. Okay, and you can see that the rainbow is there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back in now with different color striping polishes and create the colors. But I'm going to start in with a pink, bright pink uh, nail polish, striping polish. And the, in order to get a really skinny line, I've got to really, really take as much polish off this brush as possible. And I'm just going to very, very carefully go in and create that first stripe. Okay, so there it is there. Next, I'm going to go in with, I'm going to try an orange. Here's a nice bright orange from LA Colors, this Art Deco. And if for some reason you feel like you can't draw a line in thin enough with this striping brush, I would go in with maybe a toothpick or a dotting tool and try to drag the color across. Um, but I'm just going to use these stripers. So there we have the orange. And I'm going to go in with a green. Okay, I'm going to go in with a real thin green line. Okay. Then I'm going to use this kind of teal blue color. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to get all the colors I wanted in there. I'm so happy. I don't have a yellow striper. My yellow striper is super dry and ugly, so then I'm going to go back in, sorry, with a lavender kiss nail art paint. And I'm going to put in that last stripe down at the bottom. See, real gently here. And it overlaps the blue, I think, a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. Okay, so there is that. I'll get you a good focused close-up one there in a minute. And then because I have this rainbow here, I think I still want to accent with just a couple more clouds. So I'm going to go back with my white striper and just fill in couple of extra clouds. And it's okay to leave a couple of spaces because the clouds on the stamped image actually have some spaces already. I'll put a little cloud there, maybe just a little hint of one over here in the corner. See that? And I see I got a little on my cuticle, but I can very easily clean that up. Ta-da! See? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that white striper just sort of clean up the lines where all of my stripes ended along the rainbow. 
if you're not that much of a perfectionist, then this won't even bother you. And in fact, probably nobody will look close enough for it to matter, but just for the sake of adding the details, I want to make sure that my lines are pretty clean. And then I'm just going to kind of tap the striper over the cloud that's stamped so that it doesn't have a weird, like some places faded and some places thick. Okay. So now my rainbow has sort of a finished look. Uh, now that these have dried a little bit, I think what we're going to do is we can leave it the way it is if you like it in solid, or again, you can always add glitter. And yes, you know me, I must add glitter. So today I'm going to use this extreme wear in, this one's called Disco Ball. And I'm going to just add a layer of glitter over the top. Just because when you're dealing with sky and fun and rainbows, you might as well have some glitter to go with it, don't you think? I don't know. I do. <laughs> okay, I'm holding my fingers as steady as possible. But see there? There's your rainbow. And then, of course, lastly, what you'll want to do is add some top coat. Um, and I always use Sesh Vite just because that's the best one I have. And here it is here. And I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on that and show you just the final look. Okay, so here it is with top coat. Everything is shiny and ready to go. Let me get the flash on there again. Okay. And that is the final look. I hope you guys like this one. It's really bright and fun and colorful and all that kind of good stuff. So I hope that you like it and that you'll give it a try. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.